why do we have a negative leak rate? What does that mean? Um, so the technical answer is a negative leak rate equates to your production part actually lost less pressure than your master part that you calibrated to. What are some things that could cause this problem? What are some things we should look for in the field? So the first thing we always go over is what's changed. What's changed in your test? Have you changed test lines? Have you replaced seals or O-rings? Is there anything in there that may have affected the volume or hidden the leak that's inside of your part? Um, once we've identified maybe there has been a change, the next thing we'll do is we'll go in and we'll say, let's recalibrate. So that'll tear out any leaks that we see. The second thing that's most common is your production parts may be warmer than your calibration parts. So calibration part tends to sit on a shelf, it's at ambient temperature all the time. Production parts, they might be coming through a wash, they might be through a welding process. So at that point, temperature bears such a high impact on leak rate that we would ask that you would want to warm your production part or your calibration part to the same temperature so it's representative of your manufacturing process. The third situation that's also pretty common is you might be making better parts that are actually leaking less. So that's a, a good thing, right? So at that point, you would want to evaluate your parts, take the best of the lot, and use that as your new calibration piece. The last thing that we'd like to cover too is a lot of environments, temperature is hard to control. So what we see is if you're in Canada and it's temperature is high in the summer and it's low in the winter, and so we have this kind of environmental drift. And so we've actually created a feature called environmental drift correction. Um, and if it's something you guys are interested in, I'd definitely reach out to your local CTS sales rep.